Well, well, I, I think that change or rapid change and certainly where our world and our country was 90 days ago, 60 days ago, the rapidity with which we've changed and change has occurred. And, and change shouldn't be matter measured in finite, you know, minutes, days, dollars, hours, lives, whatever metric you're talking about. But over time, change is a constant. So how one uh, embraces change, I think, comes back to those critical assessment skills, that diagnostic, that ability to be objective about where you are, how you got there, and more importantly, where you're going. And in the current environment, it's a realistic assessment of there will be a new normal. Our first responders, the 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 unbelievable skills of our research labs, academia, public-private partnerships, how our local, state, and federal government have responded to something unknown basically 90 days ago to today, you know, mobilizing, testing, new technologies, uh, rapid uh, going through the phases of vaccine and therapeutic development and assessment, you know, PPE, ventilator capabilities, critical care uh, competencies uh, that, you know, we didn't know what we didn't know 90 days ago. And so with that opportunity, I, I think that you've got to be objective about where you are, but I think also what's important is, is sometimes in the, the times of crisis, while you're assessing, if you have the luxury, it is pausing and, and being patient enough. And I think in today's startup world, that patience of being able to shift to what the new normal is going to be, and it will be different. And I think the analogy is, you know, none of us have ever gone to an airport or boarded an airplane in the same manner after 9-11 as we did before 9-11. So there will be a new normal at the time of crisis assessment skills. While action is urgent, assessment skills have to have some measured patience to them. And so in today's environment, I would say that the, the founder, the startup, has to have a even a more crisper understanding of what problem you're trying to solve and that the basics, and by basics, I mean that you have a problem uh, that you're trying to solve, you know what you're doing and how you're doing it, so with whom and who's the beneficiary of that. And then the reality of narrowing a focus is making sure you're objective about your run. And you can't predict the future, but runway is usually two simple things. It's cash and burn rate. So that objectivity, you know, we, we've spent the, the last 60 days making sure initially our family, our teams, everybody was safe. And we have a personal accountability for all of us doing our part. Frequent and transparent communication is needed. But as we're starting to be thankful for how our counties and states and federal government have responded and our society has you know, slowed or stemmed uh, the spread uh, of this horrid pandemic, also that the first responders and all the medical professionals, you know, just in awe of what they're not only have done, but continuing to do. That then starts to say, let's look ahead. You know, we, we, we have that opportunity. So I think in the startup world, it's really narrowing the focus on the basics. I've got a solid product. I know what it does, how it does, what it's supposed to, with whom, and why it matters. And we'll talk a lot more about the details in go to market, but that crisp focus on the basics is so critical and in startup world that's runway.